Hello, Wasting All the Timers, it's Will here, and I'm sure you're wondering what happened in the role-playing game after, well, um, Dave went off in his uh, huff and and Cody had to calm him down. Um, Anyway, I continued the role-playing game uh, after the show and uh, uh, had to do it in parts, so we'll go over what happened to John. So John was very miffed about the shovel being just a bent shovel. So he decided to do something about it. He decided to form a religion around it. And being in an agricultural town, turns out it worked. Unfortunately, it got the notice of the Chaos Angel, Zariel. And his followers have decided to put an end to John. Right now, the the, uh, acolytes of the Chaos Angel are on their way to the shed in which the mystical shovel lies. Fortunately for John, whispers of power surround the unusual shovel, and it will be his only defense against the aid the agents of chaos. As we know, John is in trouble with the acolytes of the Chaos Angel Zariel. Meanwhile, uh, Cody's barbarian, well, as, as Cody tends to do, wants a drink. Fortunately, he had extra skill points and not a lot of options, so he threw a lot of them into gardening. This meant that he could grow crops in which to create alcohol-type drinks. Well, being as good as he is, he ran a crit train over all the gardening and instantly grew up some massive vegetables. Unfortunately, the Chaos Angel Zariel has still been looking around for John and decides to lay waste to his allies. So he brings the vegetables to life, in which the barbarian that Cody's playing was greatly thrilled and started slaying the massive potatoes. While drinking their blood, he says how sweet it is! Needless to say, he did not reckon on the fact that the poisoned potatoes have venomous blood. Meanwhile, while he drinks the blood of his enemies, he does not realize the large gourd monster that's rising up behind him. Its tendrils and spiny uh, plant-like limbs are crawling over the ground like a spider as it creeps ever closer. Well, Dave, after being hoaxed by first Cody, then John, decided he would give this my game a try. He was not going to deal with puce walls inside the two-room bungalow, so therefore he headed out to the nearest hardware store in which to buy sufficient paints. His first attempt brought back some paint that turned out to be a little bit warmer of a color than he liked. Doing some investigation, he found out that blood was in the paint, and he returned to the hardware store to complain most vigorously. While looking around the aisles, he did find a suit of illusion armor. However, it was drained of its magical powers. Continuing looking, he found the manager of the store, Mordok, a high priest of Zariel, the Chaos Angel. While doing battle with the great high priest, it tr- decided to set a trap for Dave and turn the entire hardware store into an illusory prison. Can Dave find his way out, or can he stumble across the illusion armor and suck the very magic out of the air, making him that much stronger? He does not know, as the hammer claw monsters creep down each of the aisles searching for him. Listen to this, we're playing a game It's a swing and a miss, and we're the ones to blame We'd be remiss if it was ever the same You're wasting all the time Another hour gone, did you hear the chime? You're wasting all the time Recorded for Thursday
Howdy, howdy. And welcome to Wasting All the Time. The podcast. My name is Dave. I'm John. I'm Cody. And we're going to waste all of your time. This is episode 180 and do. That's right, too. That's what I wrote down. Good. Good job. A plus. Thank you. You're welcome. I earned gold, it. Gold star, motherfucker. I earned that A plus gold star, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. So that's been the podcast. Thanks very Thanks much. much. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for joining us, and let's get right into it with a little segment that I like to call, and I do like to call it this. I don't guys. know if you like to. I like to call it, what day is this? Well, what day is it then, oh after all? Oh According to the National Day Calendar, which is at nationaldaycalendar.com. I love them. A repository of days. Mm-hmm. Like most calendars. I was like, uh, literally every calendar. It is National Sons and Daughters Day. Ugh. National Presidential Joke Day. Oh, what? And National Raspberry Balm Day. Balm Day. Like B A L M? Like that you put on your face parts? No, like B O M B E. I think we Raspberry. need to hear about Presidential, presidential Joke you Day. You read my mind. That was fantastic. Mm, presidential Joke Day. National Presidential Joke Day is celebrated annually on August 11th. This is a day that was created to celebrate the sense of humor in our presidents and for the president of the United States to tell a joke or two. What have we done? (laughs) Celebrate. To spread the word, use hashtag Presidential Joke Day to post on social media. History. This is where it gets good. I swear to God, I Dave. I think I've you, not read this before. If you if you start this with this next sentence with "We were unable," I'm going to fly across this table and punch you in the face with a car. We were un- National That's Presidential what? Joke Day, an unofficial national holiday, began on August 11th, 1984. Good year when President Ronald Reagan was doing a microphone test and made a joke. Not realizing that the microphone was on. Huh. Mm. Okay, that's that's actually way better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a, as a part of some stupid campaign to do something. And they're like, see, the president's just a guy who tells jokes. And everyone's like, no, they're not. They're the leader of the most powerful. Like, so that's awesome. that It's just him going like, I call the bartender yeah. search. That's not a duck. And this is the worst Reagan impression anyone's ever done. I'm almost a Nixon. A, yeah. I always get those mixed up when I do impressions. That's That was the Nixon. It was yeah, a, yeah. It was like half Nixon, half Christopher Lloyd. Yes, Ronald Reagan was a little bit more like this. Oh. A little bit more soft-spoken at times. So tell us a Ronald Reagan joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Let me amend that. Tell us a joke in a Ronald Reagan voice. Uh, not a Ronald Reagan joke. You get me. Okay. A uh, priest, a uh, minister, and a rabbi walked into a bar. And the bartender looked up and said, Hey, what is this? Some kind of a joke? <laughs> Quick. Good. Check the calendar. Did you hear that? That when we were, the president what? didn't know his microphone was on. Oh. That's He's, he hasn't begun his actual address yet. I mean, right. we know what his address is going to be. Sure, yeah. But check with, check the calendar because today we need to it's, it's, put uh, it down. We need to, for every, every year on this day, we need to remember right. that. All religions need to come together. What? What were you? That's what he was saying. No, did you hear the bit? It was. This is. No, this I is think it's the, really the, great. I think yeah. that this is this this like this little, is the most hilarious day in history. This funny little quirk that happened. Yeah, it's going to bring everyone together because of the president. Right? Are we? Uh, are, we are we on yet? Uh, no, no, you, we've no, got like twenty on. minutes. Oh, okay. Well, that reminds Mr. President, me I appreciated what you said. Oh, thank you very much. It reminded I, me of another one. Um, I know a lot of bar jokes from from my Halloween, Hollywood days. Oh, all those old vaudeville guys. This guy. Oh, Mr. They President. They tell jokes all the time. <laughs> um, but um, this one is um, a, a man walked into a bar. Ow. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Mr. President. It's like. It's like. Going. 
<laughs> it was like a physical oh. bar that he walked into and he hurt himself. That's why it's... Ow. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, right? I don't get it. Oh, because it's like... It's misleading. Like, I I can't explain it to you. It's like surgery on a pig. The pig is... I don't... You know, it's... That was a good one. That was Mr. President. Thank you. I'm gonna write Thank that one you. down. This is I, this is a day that's gonna live like in hilarity. I feel like the message is getting muddied. Well, how What's about this one? You you uh, you like horseback riding, right? I do. I'm a I'm a real equestrian. Uh, uh, how about this one? <laughs> um, a, a horse walked into a bar, and the bartender looked up and said, "Hey, why the long face?" They allow a horse in bars. <laughs> Because you get the stretched out. Because the horse has a, <laughs> the has a long, right. <laughs> it's, it's long, yes. Dude, Kyle, you're right. This is this is the best. This has to be, we have to write this shit down. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, here, here we go, here we go. Um, do you want Mr. to hear a dirty joke? No, Mr. Yeah. President, we're about to go live. A white horse fell in the mud. Do you want? Do you want to hear a clean joke? Oh, okay, hear me. A man I took a bath bubbles. with bubbles. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, do you, do you want to hear another dirty joke? The nation is hearing. This. Sure, <laughs> go ahead, hear me. Bubbles is the woman next door. <laughs> Roddy, you hilarious motherfucker! This is some good shit. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Nancy doesn't like that one oh, right? as much as I do. I mean, she's, you know, she's kind of, hmm, what are you going to do? Right? It is time. I like it. Time to move it along. Rightly. Twitter shins. Twitter Now we're going to do Twitter shin rapid balls or rapid Twitter shin balls. I like it is. Uh, I do what I want. This is where we find the top three tweets on the internet, not addressed to us specifically, mm-hmm. but we answer them anyway in traditional rapid ball style. Especially the racist ones. Spe- oh, dude, those are the best. Especially when I don't know it's something really awful and mm-hmm. I read it out loud like... <laughs> we don't need an example. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to say like I'm terrible. Number three. From Mohammed Mo Say Say. See Say? Say Say? I don't know how to pronounce that. At Smooth Say Say. It's there again. What's the move in San Diego on a Monday? Dave. The move in San Diego is in a westerly direction, which is counter to the Earth's own rotation, which is in an easterly dimension. <laughs> Dave, I'm cutting you off. You're- I haven't started. More for me. John, rebuttal, I guess. <laughs> you want to know the move? You want to know the move? The move, my friend, is the funky fucking chicken. You do that, you do the arm flipping, The you make it funky now, and you will own that dance floor. That is the only move you need. That is the only move you should ever do. You will win every single Pokemon battle with just that move. Funky chicken, <laughs> motherfucker, that's... How you do it. I was going to say that. But you didn't. Sucks to be you. Number two from Kells at Kells. Kelsey. Kelsey Dallas. K-E-L-S-E. Kelsey Dallas. Kells, why do you weird handle? What the fuck? Why do hot wings sound good all of the time, John? Hot wings sound good all of the time because there is no other food like hot wings. Hot wings are the perfect food. They are the perfect Meal, they are pure protein with sometimes a little bit of breading on them. Not always, but sometimes. And then they are dipped in a spicy buffalo style sauce that's kind of vinegary and spicy, making them a perfect food because vinegar is known to cure cancer in large enough amounts. (laughs) Meaning that if you eat hot wings, you will live forever or until you have a heart attack from all of the cholesterol. Science hasn't decided yet, but it is the best food nonetheless. 
bold, bold bullshit, Mr. Hanson. Dave, rebuttal. Hot wings sound good all of the time because you have a diseased mind. Wow. I mean, seek help. It's okay. okay. Um, um, sorry, you just kind of threw me off my stride there. I was expecting vitriol and, and dramaticism. And uh, I thought it was pretty dramatic, Cody. Thank you. Dave, <laughs> that was pretty dramatic. Was, all right. Number one tweet. Here we go. Dave, this one, the Twitter is poetry at lunacy. Dave, are you are you still able to talk about love without talking about being hurt? Is it addressed to me? No, that was me addressing the tweet to you. Remember what, the, what is the tweet? Are you still able to talk about love without talking about being hurt? What's love oh, got sh- to do? I didn't make your drums, thanks. That's okay. What's oh, love? That was twice in a row. Okay. All right. Well, was, and mur- <laughs> was, 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 are you going to do that again? No, that's it. Okay. Um, John, pray, pray to God you have something more coherent than that. All you need is love. Oh, I hate you. Ba- da- 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 all you need is love. Ba- da- 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 da. All you need is love. 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 This is, this is, love is all you need. This is the worst thing. So it was like, what, a, a combined 16 years of music education between the two of you? And that's the best we get? More than that. Okay. Makes Your me- love... No, don't you, I will fucking hit you with this bottle. You it's know I have a bottle. Me, you know if you just end lifting me the segment, higher, that would make it go away. Okay, this has been a goddamn twisted nightmare of rapid Twitter shin balls. Well, now it's time to move it on, move it right along. The singing this episode is Now it's is time to move it right along. Do, do, right do, do, do. along. <sighs> and now it's time for Loser Suggested Scenes. Now it's time that no, we've moved we on. we did the music we already. On, and now we've moved on. Oh, no. It's time... Past has come and gone, and now it's moved along. I have a scene. I have a suggestion. John and Dave get their vocal cords removed. It's gonna be some fucking. <laughs> oh, it's soothing. I don't think you burp when they pull your vocal cords out. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure you <laughs> not, remember, uh, I'm no, pretty no old. vocal cords. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> so I just had something caught in my throat there. Oh. <laughs> Was it a beautiful note? <laughs> no. Be a doctor, my mom said. <laughs> no, I want to be on a podcast. <laughs> am, I, am I cleared? Am I cleared? Music masters? Do we have any listeners? Suggestions? We do, as a matter of fact. Uh-oh. What have we, 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 we been doing all this for, then? <laughs> Starting my life. <laughs> this scene... Comes from Gary in Natomas, the master of divinity. Gary! Who is definitely a human and not an alien. He says, this scene is based on a t-shirt I saw recently. So go. No, I'm just kidding. That was a joke, son. That was a joke. You talk too much. Two muscle-head gym bro types, who are also passionate Dungeons and Dragons enthusiasts, give their buddy a hard time for his lack of D&D experience. Oh. So I said, so I said to him, I said, motherfucker, power word kill. Am I fucking oh, 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 right? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, well, fuck yeah. No, 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 no. You failed the but, shit out but, of that will save. Oh, shit. Bro, bro. Dude. Bro. When, when I laid down. Um, excuse me. The plus five Vorpal excuse, Avenger. Excuse me. On that excuse, troll. Excuse, and cut his head me. off. Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm hey, what's up, bro? To, I'm trying to walk. What's up, Tiny? I just want to walk through. You just want to walk through? I just want to walk hey, through. Hey, no one's stopping you, Hey, man. nobody's stopping you. Well, I, I didn't cast whole you. person, did you? No, no, I, no, I did not. You no, be, you did not. <laughs> you should be able to pass that save anyway. That's like a fucking DC 10 save at your I level. I don't know what you're talking about. Can I just... Dude. Pass? Yeah. Whole person? Plus five vorpal sword? None of that ringing None any fucking bells? No? Doing anything for you. I don't know what that is. No. <sighs> we, oh. have a, we have a moral duty. 
Tiberius. We, do. we gotta. We do. we do. I'm just trying to get down to the gym hey, look, for water look, look, polo look. practice. With the uh, water polo pl- practice. Come on. Oh, come on. Uh, listen, we're gonna help you out. Okay. We are gonna help you out. That's what we're gonna do. How? Sam, you got a pencil? Yeah. Oh, I got a pencil. Okay. Fuck it. Look at me. Did you even write, bro? Come on. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So now here you go. Okay, I guess I have a this couple is he, minutes. This is your character sheet right oh, here. Is... Now you're gonna take this die, the six sided oh, one. No, not this. The D six. You gotta roll it oh. four oh. times. You're gonna roll it four times. You're gonna get rid of the lowest roll. Don't roll like a scrub. And add together the the three remaining, and that's gonna be an ability score. You're gonna do that six. Times. I want six reps six. of ability score. Look, six God, reps. I need to. I really need to get to my water polo. You know what? Practice. We just give him a pregen. Pregen. He's a new guy. Pregen. We just give him a little okay. pregen. He okay. Clearly you, does not have you, his stamina. You are Yarman. <laughs> Yarman Yar. the sorcerer. Now look, you got you got a fucking bitchin' intelligence score. Was that shit like seventeen? Yeah, that's oh, just yeah. seventeen. <laughs> You got you got a pretty okay wisdom. Your strength's shit. Your dexterity is okay. I'm so you get strong. plus one AC from that dis- dexterity. You understand what I'm saying to you? No. Oh boy. Oh, this is okay. Oh. You have got. You are a level three in this pregen. So that means <laughs> that means you've got access to second level spells already. Okay. Can you handle that? Can you handle second level spells? Not- Scorching Ray. Oh, that shit is tense. That's on level. your spell list. Burns shit. And you want to go to this place and play the water polo. Wow. Instead of instead of existing in a land of fucking magic <laughs> and power and whimsy with us two bros. And fucking dragons, bro. Fucking dragons. Fucking dragons. Dragons. You can have sex with dragons? I guess. There was that one expansion that you yeah. could, yeah. Remember the blue thing? Because they can polymorph into, yeah. into, into anything. Humanoid that, form. That's what yeah. Poly is, yeah. And then, you know, they. You know what? You do you, bro. You do you, this yeah. This is a safe space. Me, me, I like to do a little roguish sneak and stealing. There, he's I cut a great them rogue. He's a good rogue. I, the dex is like 20. <clears throat> Fucking 20 dex, bro. Look at 20 this. 20 dex. He spent his feet points on that. You spent feet points on decks? Nobody's that fucking dedicated. I'm so lost. Maybe we should maybe we should back it up. Back fucking it dragons. Up. I just realized why you said that. <laughs> fucking <laughs> dragons. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's really out of left field. Like, but cool. I'll roll with it. And then said it again. And I went, ah. I said fucking dragons. <laughs> yes, you did. Awareness, boys and girls. This next scene, comma listener suggested, comes from our good buddy Will Reed. Hello, Mr. Reed. Scene suggestion, colon. An educational video teaching people what to do when aliens attack. Gentlemen, welcome to your new assignment here at Area 51. This film is intended to prepare you for... Anything that might come up in this very interesting, unusual job. What kinds of things might I experience on this job? Well, as you may or may not know, Area 51 has become known in the popular imagination as the place where the U.S. government stores evidence of alien encounters. But that's just nonsense, right? That's exactly what we need the public to continue believing. That's right. I do the uh, landscaping around the airfields. It's mostly dirt and sand, but it's important, and I've seen some shit. And uh, and one time I got buzzed by a UFO, and I'm just glad I'm alive to tell the tale. That sounds dangerous. It is. Now, Glenn is a good example of the kinds of things you should not say to the general public about your work here at Area 51. When confronted by a member of the public, 
you should always deny that anything strange happens at Area 51. Like so. No, sir. The device you see behind me is a weather balloon that has several ray guns on it and rocket propulsion. Not, in fact, an alien craft. It is a weather balloon. Not like Glenn. Yeah, one time I saw them taking one of the crashed alien bodies by in a tube and the the rat bastard was sticking its tongue out at me, or at least it looked like it was sticking its tongue out at me, or maybe it was a tongue, or I don't know, but I got real pissed and I ran at it and I smacked on the side of the glass and I think it moved and then they took me away, but oh, if I have another chance at that grave shit. So now that you've been introduced to Glenn, our bad Area 51 employee, and Harry, our good by-the-book model Area 51 citizen, (laughs) let's look into some additional things that you may need to deal with on your new assignment. For example, it's very possible that at some point in the very near future, the aliens that crash-landed in Roswell, New Mexico, and then were brought here to Area 51 for vivisection and analysis, will send a second party to find out what happened to their expeditionary force. And when they find out that we chopped them into little bits to study them in the name of science, (laughs) they will not take it well. So, what is to be done... When those little green men come to visit. Glenn! (laughs) What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get all of our nukes pointed away from us, each of us, and out in space. And we're going to have to blow them to kingdom come as soon as we know that they're coming. Because these guys, these are vermin, and they're going to come down here, and they're going to steal our women and our resources and the breed like rabbits. And it's going (laughs) to... They're going to take over, and it's going to be horrible. And there goes the good goddamn American way of life. (laughs) As you can see from Glenn's suggestion that we aim our nuclear weapons at places other than those pesky Russians, Glenn is once again not thinking clearly. Harry, what should we do when the little men from Mars... Come to visit. Everyone, remain calm. This is clearly a tricky Russian communist plot. Stay patriotic, stay vigilant, and pray to the only true God, the God of America. Thanks, Harry. That's exactly right. (laughs) Now, I'm sure you'll have additional questions during your tenure as... (laughs) a member of the Area 51 team. Never hesitate to ask your superior officers what you should do in any event, because every single one of your superior officers is Harry. Hi, my name is Phil Collins. I'm the actor that portrayed Glenn and signed an extensive non-disclosure agreement. (laughs) If you have any more questions about this video or the information it holds, please write to the number you see on the screen. <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> like, David introduced himself. I'm like, wait, wait, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Phil Collins. Okay. <laughs> Let's roll with this. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Gary. Will. And Gary. Will did the, the second one. Gary did the first one. Remember we just did two? Yes. Thank you, Will, and thank you, Gary. Thank you, Will. And. and. We already thanked Gary. Dude, he's the master mm-hmm. of divinity. You don't fuck around with that. Thanks, Gil and Wary. That sounds like a really awful, like, 60s folk band. Gill and Wary. Gill and Wary. Yeah. Where and Gilly? Mm. Uh, awful <laughs> werewolf fan fiction. <laughs> Thank you for Thanks, those guys. scene suggestions. We appreciate it. We clearly had a lot of fun. <laughs> Both Gary and Will. There you go. 
So now it is time to move it again. We are questionless. Questionless. Que- the barren question wasteland? Rudderless. Leaderless. Drifting rudderless, like some kind of rudderless drifting thing. Like, I don't know, a uh, rowboat or something. Robots don't have rudders? I don't know. Rowboats they- of above a certain size probably do. I was going to say, yeah. so it's technically but an action. So a large-ish rowboat without one. Yes. The thing we said. Because that would be bad. Rudder. You'd have to have all the people on one side row to row. turn it while the other ones row are not rowing, boat. and then you'd have to start rowing together again to go forward. Gently. It would be very difficult to coordinate Down between all the stream. rowers. So, all of them. Suffice to say, the quagmire. Suffice it to I was say. not finished sufficing. Suffice it. I was not finished. <laughs> there, was no, there was more sufficing to be done. Well... Suffice. Well, now I can't. Continue with your subsequent sub. You sub- ruined sub- my sub- flow. Sub- ruined it. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it? Don't. I swear to God. <laughs> in New York hunt bandits who made off with pet bunny. Police in New York City are searching for two men who broke into an unlocked apartment and made off with a pet bunny. Bernie? Made off? In addition to the caged rabbit, police say the men took a bracelet and a passport from the Bronx residence. A surveillance photo shows the men walking down the sidewalk. One is carrying the cage. Anyone with information is asked to contact <laughs> NYPD Crime Stoppers. Nice. That was intense. Oh, shit. Okay, Timmy, play cool. Play cool. It's okay. a cop. Okay. It's a cop. Got it, got it, got it. Mm-hmm. Play cool. Play cool. <clears throat> morning. Yes. Officer, good morning. Hello, officer. Timmy. Yes, did you did you need something? I am just telling you hello, officer. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh Yes, we're on our way down this this road this, street. this free road that mm-hmm. we are on, the sidewalk, technically. Um yeah. and we thought we would greet you, an officer of the law an officer in a of friendly the manner. Law. Uh-huh. Well, good morning to you both. Thank you. I'm just walking my beat here. Um mm-hmm. Funny, I don't recognize you guys, though. Uh, pretty familiar with most of the people in this neighborhood. We are tourists. Tourists, that is what we are. Yes, we are from M- Maine. Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Mil- Maine, Milwaukee. N- the main part of Milwaukee. Which That's is what? Tulsa. Hmm. Did you guys come down to see the Rose Garden? Yeah. No, yes. Yeah, yeah yes. we did. Love roses. It's a great, great Rose Garden. I like the arrangements. It's a shame we didn't come uh, earlier in the season because, you know, most of the blooms are gone now. Right. But, you know, we I actually like without the blooms. Uh-huh. I, it reminds mm-hmm. me of the the um, the Adams family mm-hmm. when she grew the roses for the, the thorns and instead of the blooms. S- snipped the. Yeah. 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 That was a the funny show. Part. Where'd you get the rabbit? The rabbit? <laughs> what? Yeah. Hmm. What about the rabbit? Carrying. Sorry, I didn't. A, I was thinking a about rabbit in it. What? Yeah. This is. Um, Did you find that or? This is Harvey. Harvey. <laughs> okay. He's ours. Mm-hmm. We had adopted him yeah. from the 
Because it's not shelter. legal for us to adopt a, a real kid yet. <laughs> a real kid? Like a human kid. Yes. Yeah. Right, I see. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, yes, adopted the rabbit. That's yep. us. Mm-hmm. Harvey the rabbit, yes. And you're you're just taking it out for a walk or? Um, yeah, just or? getting it uh, some fresh air. Acclimatizing it to the Boston environs. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Even though we're leaving soon. Fuck. Uh, yeah, you know, just. Going back to Oklahoma, Tulsa. Tulsa, where we're from. But, yeah. Or maybe it's Milwaukee. Both of us. Mm-hmm. There's a. Mm-hmm. It's it's Milwaukee, Oklahoma. It's it's not a very well known. It's next to Tulsa. It's near. It's a suburb. Yeah. Mm. Must be distance. nice there. It. Yeah. Love it. Great this time of year. Yeah. It's great. That's year why round. we came here. That's why you came to Boston. Uh huh. Nice. Fuck face. Yeah. That's why we decided to adopt a bunny. In Boston, mm-hmm. to take it to the nice weather in our hometown. I see the bunny is wearing a little bit of jewelry. Um, it's, it's all the rage. All the rage is what mm-hmm. it is. Mm-hmm. Yep, bunny jewels. You heard of the internet? It's on there. Yeah, I've been, I've been around. Yeah, just just uh, do that. Uh, just just do a do a search for Bing for for bejeweled bunnies. Yes, you will find it. I think I better turn safe yeah. search on first, though, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, it should be safe. Yeah, you should do that right now. As a matter of fact, mm-hmm. that's a good plan. Do you have a phone? You can do it on your phone. I mean, I could radio it in. No, I, there's no. You don't want to. There's no reason to take up anyone else's time with your own. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure the personal. dispatcher is busy right now. You hey, don't have hey, to dispatch. I'm uh, with a couple oh, of guys shit. walking down St. Germain's, mm-hmm. and they're carrying one is carrying a what rabbit in a cage with the. I don't remember. Hmm? Oh, there's. Hmm? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, no, I'm okay. Uh, just stand by. Did they? Did they? Did they bing it? Yeah. Yeah. They, they, well, they, they're working on that. Yeah. The, the they're, pretty they're pretty busy. They're pretty busy. Yeah, yeah I thought they might be. Maybe yeah, the, the, the dispatch. dispatch is, uh, yeah. You know, they're God working bless on them. some stuff right now. Got uh-huh. some officers out on a call. God bless oh, the troops. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some yeah. missing things. Yeah, and some robberies around here lately. Oh, oh wow, those oh, still that's, happen. That's I've never heard. They don't. No one robs anybody. Thought, I thought it was so safe here. Mm. Oh, it's it is safe. I mean, violent crime is down substantially. Mm. Oh, well, the, there that's, we go. Yeah, no. that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. That's good. Despite what certain presidential candidates are saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, if it's not safe, there's robberies about. Maybe yeah, well, we, we should. Well, we do have a I don't flight wanna, to catch. Yes, I don't want to get robbed. Oh, yes. where, where are you going? Uh, we are going back. to um, to Florida. Yeah, Florida, Mexico. Oh, I heard it's nice there. It yeah, it's supposed to be really nice this time of year. Yes. Yeah. Mexico. I don't know if they have any rose gardens like ours. Ours is unique. I don't know. Yeah. Very unique. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you guys uh, used to international travel, or uh, well, we um, we want to get more used to it. <laughs> that's why we're, we're starting. No time like the right now. No yeah. time like it. So we're gonna go to uh, to Florida, Mexico. Uh huh. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna have some gonna um, party. Yeah, tequila. Uh huh. We're gonna bring Harvey because Bunny's like tequila shit. I yeah, I wouldn't give a rabbit alcohol. No, I, that's yeah, that was yeah. We what was I some, thinking, right? We still have was, some parenting was, discussions to right. have about the rabbit. This is why we can't have a real kid. Yeah. Because <laughs> alcohol. So where else have you have you been internationally? Uh well nowhere uh, yet. Nowhere yet. We wanna try you, this is you the, got your passports or we, we just got totally a passport. Yeah. You brand just new. the two of you just got a passport? Yeah, it was a right? it was a special <laughs> buy two get one. <laughs> so you paid for two and they gave you one. Um, yeah, this is the yeah. government, right? What are you gonna do? Well, I mean, serve and protect. Is that what passports are for? No, but I'm part of the government. That oh shit, that's, that's what I do. Oh, well, you're doing a bang up job. Your tax dollars at work. Uh-huh. Well, not yours specifically. It's local, but right. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would be um, those uh, Oklahoma taxes. 
Yeah. It's a big city. Well, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. It's been a real nice chat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My yeah. buddies are just showing up here now. Oh, and, cool. Uh, we, won't, uh, we won't keep you. Yep. No, no, I think uh, they would love to see what you've got. Oh, no, that's okay. You know, okay. you know what? what? You, um, we really need to catch this this plane. Get him now! Get him now! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Love it. Weird. Very and, weird. And it What's was in the world. Weird. <coughs> that is weird. Cody, you said it. Did I? You said it, Cody. I'm sorry, shouldn't I have? You said it. I guess I did. Sorry. <laughs> Milwaukee, Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> it's right next to Tulsa. <laughs> it's it's a suburb. <laughs> <laughs> Love it's a suburb. <laughs> that was that was a fun that was a fun thing to play straight man again. Yeah. <laughs> Just let things go. <laughs> <laughs> because all I'm trying to do is just buy time yeah. for <laughs> support to get there. Yeah. That's oh. fun. <clears throat> Good times. I thought that was fun. As did I. Me too. Good job, us. Well, we thought it was fun. That's interesting. We did it. What do you think? <gasps> Person who what listened to it? Fun or no? That was not a sentence. Let us know. Say it so. resembled one. Close enough. Go. And go. And send it in your answer. Right now. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, countdown. Thanks very much for listening, for the scene suggestions and mm-hmm. the questions. Uh, it's a lot of fun. We really enjoy putting the show on for you guys. All y'all, especially. But do you like listening mm-hmm. to it? Yes, that's what we need to know. Kind of railroaded me there. I was, I was About be- the show. I was being sincere. And, uh, if like, I was, you like I was listening to this show. It's like art and we're... And you want to see it continue. Or hear it. Which it probably would anyway. Well, that's not what you wanted. But. Don't. Well, I mean, we're, I'm just trying to make it clear that we're not like in discussions of canceling the show or anything like that. Okay. We're not planning on canceling the show. No, we're not. We're not telling people that we're planning on canceling the show. Mm. But if you like it and you want us to <laughs> continue to do that, go to. Wastingallthetime.com, click on support us mm-hmm. in the navigation. Oh, mm-hmm. go to and then click time waste store. Oh, yeah. And that'll do take that. you to our Zazzle store where you can find items <gasps> for yes. sale mm-hmm. that are not available oh, any other place. Nope. On the planet. Not. In the universe. In any universe. Even from my garage. In this store. That's different. You can find golden pencils from the Lost City of Ho Chin gift shop. Mm Mm-hmm. You can find t-shirts that have the Right Industries logo on front and say staff on the back. Who doesn't want one of those? Mm. So you can be a staff member of Right Industries. Mm Mm-hmm. You can find... A fucking baby bib with our classic (laughs) red logo on the front. Yup. And also lots of pins, stickers, keychains, mugs, magnets, and all whatever the fucks. Mm -hmm. So So many fucks. Go check it out. Do it. And until next time. My name is Dave. I'm John. I'm Cody. And boy, howdy, we wasted all the time. The howdiest of boys. Yes, we did. Thanks. Yay. A lot. Good night, folks. If you enjoyed the show, then leave us a rating and review on iTunes, Stitcher, or anywhere that lets you put in a review. You can call or text the show at area code 916-235-3337. If you'd like to interact with us in any other way, then www.wastingallthetime.com would be a great place to start. There, you can submit listener-suggested scenes and questiones. You can buy your own copy of the Fruit Words card game. You can read blog posts from Ted and the guys, and a whole lot more. So check it out at wastingallthetime.com.
When aliens attack. When aliens attack. When aliens. It's in quotes. I don't know if I'm sp- how. I'm- <coughs> when aliens attack. Just going. When aliens attack. I think it. I think it will work best if it's like one person. of those. When aliens. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll fucking do it. Yeah. I'll drop that hammer. Right if it's one of those like chipper upbeat kind of the 1940s. What the da da da. Yeah. We're going to do another 1940s. Oh, yeah. It's going to be 1940s again? It doesn't have to be 1940s again. We can do it. Dave. Oh, Dave, <laughs> I need you to keep it together, bro. I need you, I need you to keep it together, man. Did you hand me the bottle? <laughs> yeah, what the, what the fuck percent was that? It's like five. <laughs> it's not the beer. It's the desperation. 5.8%. Wow. What are you, me? <laughs> told you. I fucking told you. I gave you a fair <laughs> warning. God damn it, Patterson. <clears throat> Drop that hammer.